No YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Roost 2, uh, episode 5. So, today we are going to start with our last uh, uh, group that we haven't started with before, the Pirate Queen. And for our, for our, our biomes here, um, so I definitely want the sea, I mean... Well, we kind of have to have the sea, but there is actually a an alternative giant to the ocean giant that I do want to show off, but we don't have them unlocked yet, so we're going to use the sea, but we want the sea because, I mean, pirate queen and all that. Um, the other biome that I think she wants would be the frost giant taiga. Uh, so we're going to go with the taiga. Um, on this side, I think we can go... Could go pure food. Could go swamp for lots of knowledge. Let's go swamp. We'll we'll go pure alternative. So swamp, sea, and taiga. And um, one thing we just unlocked is we now have the final era. Um, or the, the era three era disco of discovery. So now we go through three turning point missions before the end of a, of the game, and gets kind of hairy uh, for the uh, final one. The final one is more about optimization and replacement, because at that point you've probably run out of stuff to just expand into. Um, but you know, let's give it a try, shall we? I'll probably split this episode into two groups, one with the first two and then one with just centered on the third, because um, the third takes a bit uh, to to wrap our brains around. So let's dive in, shall we? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the the global bonus for the Pirate Queen is all Biotica when next to fish or predators. Um, gain extra 50% gold and mystery is her sort of global one. So that's why we want her by the sea, but also um, the frost biome, the, the taiga, benefits from having predators as well because it builds up the rugged, ruggedness. Um, so yeah, both of those on either side of this village will probably be the, the, the best thing here. So, once again, going with our standard ocean size of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And same goes with the taiga. We'll wait for you to finish your ocean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're not doing any stutter step micro forest shenaniganry here. Not with the pirates, anyway. I uh, might with the others, but yeah. Now, one thing I want to double check, one thing I want to theorize before we lay down our town here is um, is there any benefit to having some partial um, taiga? stuff down here uh, adjacent to the ocean but on the other side of the town let's take a quick look um, stone we don't need agate nah not really um, starting animals not so much and then starting plants carrots kind of work we don't really care about the lost on the other side and then on the seaside here, yeah, this one specifically wants fish. This one helps out fish. These fish are fish. And over here, yeah, we don't really have a huge benefit um, to putting the town over there. So I think we're just going to put it seaside proper. Now, as far as which side is actually before, before we let them set up shop, um, So now the question will be, what uh, which side do they start on? I mean, either side really will work. Uh, C will probably work a little bit better because their bonus applies to all fish, not just predator fish, um, and also gives mystery. Yep, C side, good, excellent. That's what I wanted. All right, so I think we're gonna go for a combo of the C and enemy because it boosts um, mystery gain, and then we can go clownfish. 
uh, for some cash, and then uh, maybe a straw, a straw, stray Agati. In fact, I think I'll do a stray Agati like right here. Just, just one right against, because it doesn't really have. Ooh, we have a super booster. That's good. That is good to know. Uh, we can use the super booster sooner rather than later. We'll throw the anemone down here. Actually, wait, hang on. Uh, we want these to be next to fish, yes? All right, we'll save the super booster for something else. The anemone is going to go here, because if we put the fish here, it's going to bonus both of these. And that should get them past three wealth and then some. Yeah, see, we're at an output of, uh, you know, an extra 50%. All right. Um, what are we being offered? Ocean Shrine is kind of... That's, I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer, but um, Predator Biotica and Fish Biotica are a thing. Like, I might go for Fishing Hut just because it, it can shore up their weaker um, food gain. Because we're not really going for food with them, but they do need food. But regardless, we're going we're gonna to take a look at what we got here. So the Huntress uh, or the Inventor. Um, I mean, the inventor's good for just pure science build. Um, I mean, the huntress also wants food and gold. Um, they're, they're kind of parallels. I actually don't want to have two of them competing over, like, pure food and gold. The huntress more so, leans more towards, uh, food than gold. Um, yeah, you know what, I think we're going to go inventor... Because um, Tundra plus um, Le Rainforest will is good inventor territory. We could also do Ocean and Rainforest. That actually might be a little bit better, Ocean and Rainforest. Because there's some, there's some good knowledge to be gained in the ocean. And there's some good knowledge. Although, Ocean, uh, uh, Tiger Rainforest lets us get um, tree synergy, like lots of tree synergy. And that worked out for us uh, in an earlier game. So I think I might go with the, yeah, the non-ocean here. Um, we'll plop you on that and speed you up. All right, they're going into the taiga. I was kind of hoping they didn't, but we'll just have to entice them to expand in the other direction. Okay, um, so three technology. Yeah, the, the Ramon tree is just a flat out. Um, animals don't do tech. And then stone, yeah. I think stone plus Ramon tree um, gets us where we want to go here. Oh wait, fur? Oh, the Ramon tree's on the other side, but still, fur is is what we want on on this side. Oop, we don't need to go quite that fast here. This is not Roos One, where it was like a micro RTS. That should get them to the three. All right, yeah, we did it. Excellent. And then, ooh, yeah, I was hoping the merchant because our global bonus increase gives us bonuses to gold production. Um, 
And uh, yeah, the miner, the the merchant will absolutely like that one. And I don't actually know if we've we've called the merchant before. Actually, while we wait for them to slowly make their way over, let's get some name and game patron. Nighthawk City for Melena. And for our Pirate Queen, Ruthenberg for Ruth. Which way? All right, good. You go into the ocean. Um, and you shall be... Port Shona. Perfect. Okay, so... Oh, and we have a minerals bonus slot. So, uh, one of our drafts definitely needs to be... Um, ocean because we both and we want o money focused ocean since we know both of our oh like pearls and jasper and the sea crates oh mama yeah that's what we want yeah pearls please So the pearls are going to need some some extra biodiversity before we can press them into service, but that's okay. Uh, the sea crate, um, if adjacent to at least one critter, it's not a fish, but it's a. Uh, are you guys critters? Yeah, you guys are critters. All right. Um, actually, are you a critter? The clownfish is a critter. I mean, I, much as I'd like to put the clam here, we could put the sea crate down here. Not that we need to boost them up. Let's let's focus on here. Um, you guys, and again, we're we're looking to increase biodiversity. Um, bedrock, eh. Uh, another agati is not going to help bedrock. It's not going to help our biodiversity. Um, if adjacent to an animal bioticum. See, I kind of want the sea crate critter stuff to be over here. Yeah. That's the one downside here. All right, you know what? We can do two sea crates. And actually, yeah, we'll throw a Jasper down here. Actually, yeah, we could do we could do the same combo we did here. It doesn't. It's not going to help us with biodiversity, but we can always upgrade it later as we unlock stuff. Um. So you go here. And then we'll clownfish over here. Well, we'll see what they have before we start going too nuts once they get once they roll over here. There we go. Alright, let's see what 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 are we gonna do with the pirate village here? So extra food for fish biotica, I think even though it's got a lower max bonus, I think that's 
the correct answer, although we can get a lot of gold from our extra predators, because we've got, well, we only have one predator in the ocean right now. And then there's all that mystery. What does mystery do for the pirates again? Uh, mystery gives them a little of everything. Um, I mean, it's not a hundred food though. I think the hundred food is probably the better, the better bet. Cause we are going to be doing more animal based. Now, is it fish biomes though? It is fish. Okay. Well, that's okay. We were going to be doing more fish fish anyway. Uh, but no, the sea crate is definitely going down here. And then we'll probably throw down some herring, both for the biodiversity and also to get to two fish. Oh, and also we can get our first thing of pearls over here because that's going to give them a lot of money. All right, they're not quite ready to expand out over here, but that's okay. Now over here, um, yeah, we can do basically whatever we want. Although we do want, we because it's based on predators, um, I, I think a rabbit stoat combo would be correct. We're going to go very animal based here. And yeah, that's going to send them out for another grab here. We've got more than enough money. It's just a matter of getting the extras extra food here which should give us a boost because of the fishing village we are going to need to get more fish fish because the crate does not technically count as a as a fish um i mean we could throw down a, uh, a kelp that would give us some more food Still not a fish, though. But it would help the biodiversity, which would allow us to get another thing of clams over on this side. So yeah, let's throw down a kelp. That is going to push us to the next era, but it'll... Oh, actually, no need. So, I mean, I'm still probably going to put a kelp there, but... Maybe we do something else um, now that uh, yeah now that we night Nighthawk City ah woodcutter yes I think woodcutter is the correct answer because we're gonna get trees on both sides and in which case we can do a Ramon tree on this side to entice them over. And then we'll probably draft up some. Uh, we'll probably draft up some goodies for probably for the uh, probably something specific for for uh, Nighthawk City. Something I either the well we're probably going to do jungle, but we're going to try and go tree jungle. All right, so we've got Calm Era. You know what? We've we haven't done Tier One Calm Era yet. We did two. We did um, Tier Two Calm Era, um, but I don't want to go Monument Age again. Uh, so we're going to go Tier One Calm Era and just focus on maximizing our prosperity overall. We're already at forty-four or forty-five. 
I have a feeling this will not be too difficult. And yeah, it looks like we're going to get over here. All right, let's go rainforest and let's look for Gumbo Limbo is talking to me. Um, yeah, we're going to need a bit more trees, but Flint is pretty good. Parakeets are pretty good, especially with that. So we'll go Gumbo Limbo. The inventor's going to need a bit more help just because they're um, they're not going to be benefiting from the global bonus of the Pirate Queen because the Pirate Queen, I mean, they have mystery, which is, you know, every, each tribe tri tailors mystery resource to something useful to them. Um, but yeah. Let's go here. All right, so we need more tech. The Gumbo Limbo is not too bad, actually. Papaya is decent just to get up the prosperity and also the tree count. So yeah, let's gumbo limbo. Let's papaya. Get that uh, biodiversity up. And a little extra food just for the extra overall prosperity. Um, and then the parakeet yeah um so the parakeet actually probably we probably want um port shona to get the parakeet we'll just make sure we put them next to a tree of some sorts all right you guys well actually we only need one more little bit of of uh, are you still growing not quite. You need you need a little bit more. We've got all the tree biotica that we need. In fact, we could probably replace the uh, papaya tree because that's probably the one we would want. Well, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, but we need a little bit more knowledge here. Uh, Flint. Flint will do the trick. Because it wants to be next to a tree bioticum. And that'll put it push us over. Okay, now what do you guys want? Trading post, distinct. All right, that's the lower, that's the easy but lower tier one. Um, ocean minerals. Um, does the I think, yeah, the clan, the pearls count as a mineral. I yeah, I think this is the correct answer. The ocean minerals. Because we know we're building them a pearls. And yeah, it has to be ocean minerals that that give that provide gold. Oh, actually, no, just ocean minerals in general. But yeah, it's going to provide gold. Um, so Agade, right here. I know they. I know the sea crate needs um, a critter. We'll get them a critter of some sort. But over here we want mineral mineral. And that gives us just enough for the pearls. Pearls on each side. Oh wait, do pearl the pearls count as a critter? <laughs> That's fantastic! That is actually fantastic that the pearls count as a critter. Alright, well we got the merchant village taken care of. We still have plenty of drafts left. And I'm not in a I'm not in a hurry to, to use them up or waste them. But I would like to pop another ocean. Because we need some food. Tuna will be food. Um, what does the manta ray do for us? Manta ray is gold, mystery science, and yeah. Yeah, manta ray is not going to do it. The, the tuna, I think, is the correct answer here. 
Suckerfish is good. Tuna is good. Actually, Suckerfish plays off of uh, the Sargasm giving Sea Bass and Sunfish. Plant and Animal. Um, now we'll go Tuna. Because they're more fish, which we need to activate the fishing pier here. Now, the fish... The, the tuna needs, yeah, it wants adjacent fish bioticum. So the sea crate don't count, but that's okay. Um, because we got, we can do double anchovy to get it plus the herring and that will give it its thing. In fact, we need to put down some other stuff to get the biodiversity up. So um, we're gonna go anchovy and then we'll probably put the, um, the sucker fish over here. Yeah, anchovy, anchovy. That gives us the biodiversity we need. Then we can tuna. That will give them the food. And then once they expand the borders out, that will activate the sea pier. And then, yeah, over here we can do the uh, sucker fish for each distinct predator. And we've got two predators so far, which is good. Um, but we'll, let's save our, let's save our stuff for, because we might want to, because the pirate town needs some more, they need some more gold, but they need to expand out more into the taiga. Yeah, that triggered the other half of the of the fishing pier. And then yeah, now they're now they're going out here. So now we can look to the taiga for some extra cash. Which ooh, or some food. Well, let's see what we get from the taiga cuz we haven't drafted any taiga. Um so the fox, lots of animals. Red-backed voles, um, potato, we're not really doing undergrowth. Um, yeah, and it's a predator, so we get some goodies out of it. I think the fox is, is the correct answer here. Now we do want to put the, uh, the voles down here. Uh, this, the, the biome's rugged is going to climb higher naturally. And we completed the era. So we've got, we, we have considered a, the score maxed here. For each animals in this biome, yeah, there's already three and we could probably get a few more as we go along here. So the fox will be putting in work We've got enough goodies for it. So let's throw down the fox. Granted, we're not going to be doing many animals with the inventor because animals can't provide knowledge. All right. Completed. Yeah, no fancy animations this time uh, for Calmera, but hey, we get bonuses anyway. Merchant Age. That's one we haven't done yet. Let's do Merchant Age. Ooh, plus 15 limit. Yeah, Merchant Age. Time to make some moolah. All right, three cities with eight gold is needed. So we do need to get some money to the inventor. Uh, and also we need to see what uh, the inventor's latest thing is. Um, more trees, probably more trees. Even though that doesn't help our money issue. 
we do need to get them some money. So this is where this might be where the uh, the animals come in. So let's get some more. Um, chariot might be a, a useful one. Agade might be a useful one, just if only for the biodiversity of it. Um, let's see what other taiga goodies we can pull. Um, none of you are money. I'm gonna re-roll you. Ooh, white wolf. White wolf. Now you are you are very de heavily dependent on this. Skunk is good. Nephrite, we can make use of that. Then there's silver. Interesting. Oh, catalyst silver. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, hang on. So this is a gold thing that gives us extras. Ah, and it's more trees and oh wow for each distinct adjacent predator aura or um, bioticum and then we got Pete which is okay uh yeah you sold me on silver here I don't think we need to replace the fox But you certainly have me curious. We do need to... All right, so sulfur for each distinct predator. Ideally, what we want is we want to draft another predator and have that, that tier two predator in line with sulfur. Um, here, yeah, I think silver right here. So we want knowledge, knowledge, and then we'll drop a silver right, right here. Adjacent to at least one undergrowth. Do we have undergrowth? The carrot is undergrowth, but it is not knowledge. Ooh, furniture. That works. But it gives us extra... It gives us extra uh, goodies here. All right, so. Yeah, we can put the carrot over here by this plant booster. Because uh, this is where the silver is going to go. So the peat goes here. And then we just need something else that provides knowledge. This gives us food and knowledge, which is good enough for me. Now, does it say it has a base value of... For each science, so it doesn't have to be their base value. Now, I just realized that I am wasting a little bit of Eon here. Because one th one trick that somebody had mentioned, uh, one of my commenters, um, was that the whatever you used, whenever you replace something, um, the base value gets added to to that tile. So if we were to do something like th throw this down here, and then replace this the base value here of uh, both of these remains in the tile even though these get vaporized oh no our tree that's all right we have something better for you actually we're going to replace the tree exactly as it was at least for now But now let's get that silver. Not enough biodiversity. 
Okay, we can throw down the carrots over here. Both for the uh, biodiversity and also to, to trigger the peat. And that, that, yeah, it gave us two biodiversity. Now we can silver it up. And that should give them a heap of gold. Enough to get their, them to an eight, maybe, hopefully. Not quite to an eight. Um, hmm, problematic. Y'all need more gold. Um, adjacent to an animal, that doesn't help us that much. Oh, parakeet. Yeah, now you, now we want the parakeet. Yeah, because, I mean, we need to make sure this has that in, our, in order to progress at the Merchant Age. Although I don't know if that's going to get us to an 8. Um, let's draft a rainforest. Ritual Jade for each distinct plants in this biome. Well, that's one way to get a whole crap ton of money. Topaz is good. Agave. And more trees. All right, yeah, you sold me on that. So we're at what? Four... You are, you are a tier two. That's okay. So for each distinct plant in the bio, which there are plenty of, um, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, vaporize these two. We'll probably re replace the papaya tree No free slots, that's okay. Um, 300% if Biotica is unique in biome. I think that means like all Biotica. I mean, this is gonna be a little bit of an overkill now that I'm thinking about it. Adjacent to an animal. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit overkill. This really should go in the merchant town. But again, I want to make sure we can always move it around. OK, we can move it around. Need more biodiversity. Is this a gem? That's a gem. So this topaz should do fine. Uh, let's get the, um, oh, actually the rubber tree could go down here. Yeah, this is, the rubber tree is like really, really strong, although it does cost us one. We're trying to get you we you know what we can swap out the the jade for the rubber tree when we're when we're ready for it so let's just throw something over here to increase the biodiversity um like a uh yeah that's a that's a critter 
So we'll throw, we'll throw the, the Viper over here. Actually, no, the Viper should go over here because Viper, being next to Viper gives um, bonuses. Oh man, we are close. Actually, you know, if we put you next to some other gem that's not the Jade Ritual, we could put the tree over here. That's not a gem. That's a gem. All right, you know what? We throw you over here. That gives you just a bit more Which should get us to an 8 here. Have three cities with 15. Ah, we need you to get even higher. Alright, we will put the Ritual Jade down here for now. Just to get you up to 15. Because really, that's the only real way that that's happening. Because we're already there with the pirate town and already there with the merchant town. So we just need to use this ritual jade to uh, cheese out the uh, mission for, for the inventor. Give them some cash. But that is not a permanent installation. Still cooking, still cooking. Fourteen, and yeah, that's e exactly enough to uh, to give us what we need here. And then once we pass the era, that's when I'm going to swap out the jade and give it to the merchant who is going to actually want it. All right, so now, yeah, we have to keep it with them. 60 total on the planet and that. We can do that, but now we're not beholden to... In fact, we might even be better off um, swapping it now, because I don't think you can regress in... So, yeah, I think, I think the correct answer is um, the rubber tree. just to swap you out. And then we got to give you one more plant over here where there just happens to be a plant booster. Um, so both of these want to be next to an animal. Both the Amethyst, no, the Topaz wants to be next to an, no, wants to be next to a gem. The Amethyst wants to be next to an animal. Um, nah, but we want the, we want the papaya tree because we want more trees. Because I, I want to activate the, the uh, maximum uh, woodcutter yeah, that's going to give us our sixth tree. Which will greatly help towards our prosperity goal, even if it's not going to help with our... And also meets their mission, so we get more drafts. Beautiful. Okay, um, over here, yeah, what do you guys market? Distinct gem biotica? Ooh, I think we can do that. Because let's see, what do we have for, for gems um, across our two biomes here? Uh, Jade is a gem. Topaz is a gem. We probably have to swap that out, actually. Um, Amethyst is a gem, so that's three. And then in the ocean, we have Jasper is a gem and Agate is a gem. So yeah, we absolutely um, do Amulet Smith. Which means we're probably... Alright, we need... So the Amethyst... We do, we do want our critters here. 
Actually, this amethyst, we, we can't double these up. We don't want to double them up anyway. Uh, I'm going to throw the parakeet here. Although, um, it's already a tier two. Do we have any other good tier twos? We could do, we could draft another tier two rainforest. See what we get. Coffee Robusta Zest. Um, for each science in district within biome. If Biotica is unique. Whoa, I, these are tier threes. I can't play these. Not now, anyway. Uh, what do we have down here? Micah has a surplus. Yeah, we're not going that. Um, oh, yeah, them. Bauxite. Yeah, we're not going minerals. Uh, Capiapoc. Bird or monkey? We do have birds. Pattaya. If there are no more than two other copies of this. And then you give us all... F yeah, we're not focused on flowers. Yeah, we already have the rubber tree. You know what? I hate to do this. Um, just because it's other goodies. But yeah, let's re-roll. Hemp. For each adjacent animals. We're not... We don't have a lot of animals on that one. So maybe not. Cayman is... Okay. Capybara... For each adjacent animals. The monkey for each distinct... Ooh! The spider monkey is really good. That's actually kind of what we're looking for. All right, hemp it is. So hang on. Before you throw those boids in there. I mean, the birds are still also going to be good. But for the tier... For these ones, we're going to want... Um... Because it's already there's already a tier two slot, we might as well put the monkey there. And here I thought animals couldn't give uh, couldn't give um, science. Shows what I know. But now now we can throw um, the parakeet next uh, in place of the amethyst. Because it's going to be next to a... Or do we want the parakeet um, next to the snakes? To the pit vipers, rather. I kind of think we probably want that. Alright, well, let's get our ritual jade here so we can um, make the merchant real happy. Oh, tier 2 slot, right. Um, what other tier 2 things can we put in here? Hemp? Maybe not. For each adjacent animal. I want to say we can do the, the, this and the hemp. Yeah, you know what? Even though it's going to be empty here, I don't want to use too much more e uh, era of Eon here. Just because we're, we're, we're on the clock. We still have a lot of money to get. Maybe I should have boosted over here, actually, now that I thought of it, think about it. Because, well, no, we need, we need the merchant to come grab this stuff. So the, what are we doing? For each distinct plants. And then the hemp is... Yeah, so the hemp needs to be over here, actually. For each adjacent animals. Um, actually, yeah, if we, if we made this a double-double, and... I mean, I'd ultimately want to expand... I'd, I'd want the... Um, I'd want the inventor to come over this way.
because I want them to come out, come for the hemp. So yeah, we might actually want both of these as leveled up. But first things first, we go for the um, the jade here. Then I think I'm going to uh, replace. I'm going to move the pit viper to over here. And then, yeah, the topaz, if next to another. Although, yeah, we need to make sure that there is a predator next to this. Because, yeah, 350 base, the, that extra 50% base is from the predator. So we need to make sure that there is a predator boosting us up here. We do want to give them a critter. Oh, the iguana, if next to a mineral. There you go. There's your there's your critter. All right. Now let's work on the pirate tower. Because you guys are, yeah, 50% base. And actually, we haven't even taken our, our thing for you. Um, gem or M, if there are distinct animals. I think we're going to go animals because we want both. Because we have lots of animals. All right, we're getting up there. The food is certainly helping our uh, overall prosperity. We need probably need to get them a little bit more money. Yeah, they need a little bit more money. The fox has... So we might need to go dabbling in for each predator. Actually, you know what? If we throw down a sulfur here, that's going to give a crap ton of knowledge to a town that has almost no knowledge, uh, which will greatly increase our our that our our um, overall. each distinct predator so if we really wanted to max this out we would need more predators we right now we only have so actually the red backed vole if we we swap yeah because now we have two different predators here that's gonna stomp on the food tag but that's okay Actually, yeah, you know what? We we vaporize the fox as well to add its uh, base here. Because we certainly want to replay the fox. Ooh. Yeah, we can put the we can put this here and put the fox here. Absolutely. Um, what happens if we draft up more taiga and go for another predator? Um, that's an herbivore. That's a predator. White wolf, though. And the, the skunk counts as a predator and an herbivore? Oh man, the sequoia for each adjacent lost. No, I think I'm going to go White Wolf here.
I may regret that choice later on. But yeah, if we, um, so what's, let's see here. The sulfur does not require extras. For each distinct adjacent predator. Okay, so the white wolf, if doing double white wolf here is not gonna uh, work out because it has to be distinct. Uh, which means we can still throw the fox down here, but, but man, yeah, because yeah, you want two white wolves next to each other is where you, where I was going with that. Wow. Um, so we can we can throw a fox down here. Yeah, and this fox will help push the pirate queen to where she needs to go. And also push the world to where it needs to go, um, money-wise, anyway. All right, we got 11, so three more placements. Let's um, yeah, let's toss down the skunk because that is another predator. All right, error is complete. Excellent. Yeah, and then we go white wolf, white wolf. Yeah, because this one sulfur is just giving us so much value because it's the only source of knowledge for the pirate town. And now they're going to invent their own thing. Wow. That not enough? Oh, well, yeah, they never sent somebody over to claim it. Please tell me you didn't claim some empty... All right, good. What is your interested all right I think if we throw down the white wolf um, that'll get them over here oh but we need we need to vaporize the skunk all right here's what we do we throw down yeah you're just a herbivore I'm gonna throw down the red-backed vole here, just just so that it can get vaporized. We're gonna to need to upgrade both of these patches if we're gonna do the the white wolf gambit. Yeah, that, so that's got them settled there. Got another draft. I am going to save this draft for, my, for a tier three. All right, City of the Future. Nighthawk City wants more, a lot more attack. Understandable. Um... Yeah. And that's not going to help you out. Nephrite might help out, but again, I think we want you to push further in this direction. Oh yeah, the hemp. The hemp for each adjacent animal. So we're not going to be able to max this out entirely unless we flip flop the jade, which isn't going to really work. I mean, unless we um, vaporize and do an upgrade here, each adjacent animal, although the monkey needs to be next to, yeah, they're next to two trees. 
The spider monkeys have all the trees they could want. Yeah, they only need the two trees. So we vaporize the we vaporize here, we throw the hemp down here, and then we can go animal, 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 animal. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to lose the plant icon, but we were going to put animals here anyway. That's okay. All right, let's throw down some hemp. Get these monkeys high. All right, folks. So in our next episode, we will t see if we can't tackle the third age. And uh, yeah, I'm going to save um, telling you which one we... Oh, you know what? Let's... Let's let's find out now. I'm not going to cliffhanger that. But we did get ourselves a nice thing. We also got extra error limit, which makes me happy. Extra crevasses. I don't know if we've unlocked actually using that. Oh boy. Um, so we got Tier 3 Calmera, Age of Horror, um, Herbivore Biotica, not the thing. Solar Punk. You need 35 biodiversity on the planet. We used up biodiversity. Um, you have a city with at least 15 and 15. Maximize food from Biotica for the sludge. Space race. Mm. 75 knowledge, 75 people. Really? Uh, with offerings of wealth, Pirate Queen has... Alright, so this, the Age of Horror is, is the... Um, is the money related one. So we might actually go Age of Horror. Unless we want to go, you know what? We could do um, Calmera 3. I mean, it is a, a thing to go with. Uh, especially since we're not doing herbivores. I'm going to go Calmera 3. Now we are just going to go for a hard maximization of literally everything here in our next episode. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya.